media sources. In this video, you will learn how to find free media such as audio, images, and videos without infringing on copyright. Using this research guide we provide, we show exactly what sources you can use to find all sorts of audio, images, and videos without infringing on copyright. All the sources on this guide uh, don't need any permission to use. You don't have to pay to use them. And you can use them in academic and personal projects without violating copyright law. Why is this media free? Well, you can use this without violating copyright because the materials provided are either in the public domain, which means the copyright expired over time, or it was never under copyright restrictions. If it's Creative Commons license, the creator themselves put on a specific license um, allowing you to either use it for free or use it for free with attribution. So, starting with our audio page. Now, we won't go over every single source we have here, but we have two different types here. We have music where they have lyrical or instrumental music um, behind on each so site or we have a sound uh, sources in which you can get snippets for just about anything. So let's try, for example, our Dig CC Mixer. They're all fairly easy to use. As you can see here, you can search for genre, instrument, whatever you're interested in. Uh, let's say, for example, I'm interested in having some sort of music with a guitar. I can search for guitar and it's going to show me all the different types of sources that it pulled up. It pulls up an artist with the name guitar in it and a guitar and a slide guitar. Now I can look through the results and see which one looks the best, listen to a few and pick the one that I like the most. So for instance, I want to listen to this one. <laughs> I like it I can then go ahead and go for the download and it's going to tell me what it's available for so I can see that this one's for non-commercial projects only perfect for you a student to go ahead and download and use for uh, any sort of school projects that you need now here you can also see how to give credit to the musicians themselves you have plain text and you have HTML so whatever it is you're using it in this is how you would use to uh, provide credit. So that's one instance of some lyrical or instrumental music. How about sounds? Well, I particularly like looking at sounds because you can find all sorts of different sounds. You know, they like a lot of ASMR, um, rain sounds and other sounds uh, to fall asleep. Um, I find it interesting that snoring is one possibility. So when you search for snoring, you can see there are several different options as well as several different options on the licensing available as well. So if you're looking for something very specific, you can go ahead and choose that licensing. But for instance, if we just want to go ahead and play a specific one and see what it sounds like, we can go ahead and then start playing it. So it's really nice to uh, provide different sounds for a different type of songs or music or just some sort of background or really add something to a, any particular video you're creating. You do have to log in to download so you'll have to create an account and it does give you what licensing is available on this. And once you do log in it gives you um, the several different file types that might be needed. Okay. So that is the audio. Let's check out the images. I really like the images because there's a couple fun ones. Um, the one we like the most, that's as we've seen the students like the most, is the multicolor, search by color. This one's really fun because imagine if you're looking for something to match a certain pattern or a palette and you want uh, specific colors to be there. So what if I wanted something with a lot of blue or how about something with some blue and some green? So as I add colors, and I can add up to five, I can make sure I've got 
you know, the perfect image to go with whatever it is I'm working on. Maybe perhaps you're doing some sort of project about, you know, plastic waste. How about straws, right? So you can see where all of this is coming up. I can go ahead and choose and take a look at where I can actually download this image from. Many of them are coming from Flickr. Some rights are reserved, so I'll need to take a look at that and see what it is um, I have to provide rights on. Hopefully it's just attribution, uh, you know, giving credit to the original photographer. But here on the right hand side, you'll be able to see where and what kind of sizes are available to download. That's one thing you'll have to look through on all of these sites is where is the option for downloading. Okay. So what's another one? Well, we've got also a list of images from museums and different collections all available here. You, they're very simple to search. There's only one that you might have uh, some issues with, which is the British Library one on Flickr. Now this one we only say you might have an issue with only because I've seen many students who go straight to search here so they can look through the British Library's collection. But if you're looking through just the British Library, which is what's available for download, you want to make sure that to search through these million, you want to hit search photo stream first here. So search, then changes this search box to only search the British Library. So once I hit that, I can search through and find any resources that I'm looking for, that I'm interested in. And whenever I find something, you know, you select it and you can take a look at it. What's really nice is they're normally very high resolution images. And so you can uh, zoom in and see um, exactly like the best detail you can possibly see. And um, they offer, again, because it's also on Flickr, they offer different sizes. Many of these offer different sizes for downloading. So that is the images. For the videos, these are actually all provided by the Internet Archive. They're just three different collections that you can take a look at. So any of these that you want to take a look at, you can go here. Um, this is the Moving Image Archive. It has 6 million results. Many of these uh, can be used in anything you're interested in, um, adding to your video or just as a sample for um, any project that you're working on. Um, something that's of interest is like uh, the speed runs. So you can take a look at these and see the information available and what um, is provided. You can take a look at their collection and see like what videos you can actually grab and take a look at. Um, so you can go in, let's see, go in and you can see that there's different uh, options. You can scroll down and see all the information provided by them, the different file downloads in the collections, and then some information on each part that they have provided as well. So whatever it is you need, it's providing you all the information as much as possible here. And so these are all from the, the Internet Archive. They have provided different collections that are available that you can use. Um, if I show you one of the other collections here, you can see it's still the Internet Archive. They just offer different options here. See, and many of them are in black and white. Some of them are in color. It just depends on what you're looking for. So where are all these great links located at? Well, they are located on that first link on the screen. That is our research guide for free media sources. If you're looking into uh, what other library workshops the library provides, we also have a full guide of all the workshops we actually have, as well as the videos attached to them on the second link on the screen. If you need any assistance with any research, finding any materials, don't hesitate in contacting the UTEP library at the phone numbers on the screen, or you can ask us at libanswers.utep.edu.